Uh, hey everyone, I hope everyone's having a great winter break so far. Uh, I thought I would check in because I understand that people are beginning to buy their stuff for formal, you know, whether that be tuxedos and bow ties. Uh, so in order to provide some sort of insight on how to tie a bow tie, so hopefully you can get enough confidence to buy an actual bow tie, which is definitely what I recommend. Buying a real bow tie is, makes you, is definitely fratty. And it's something that I would recommend for every single person. Uh, but in order for people to have the confidence, I thought I'd make a tutorial on how exactly to tie a bow tie. So the first start and first uh, tying a bow tie is you have to get the right bow tie or make sure it's set up right. So right here, I have just a really normal regular bow tie. This isn't really the one I'm wearing to formal, it's just the one I have on me. Uh, looking at the at the bow tie itself, you can see it has many different sizes. A lot of uh, people, me included, especially when I didn't really know how to tie a bow tie, you kind of just like choose a random, like a choose a random size and kind of hope it works. Uh, figuring out what size your neck is is really important in order for the, uh, the when, once you tie the bow tie, in order for the tie itself to look as good as it possibly can right here. Because if you choose one that's too tight, the bow, the bow tie is going to be too tight, so maybe it won't be able to tie. Or if you choose one that's too loose, the, uh, the bow tie itself, like the, the part that's right here is going to make, you know, it might droop down or even like hang if it's really bad. So making sure that you get the right neck size is super important. Uh, for some, for some perspective, I Googled it. The average neck size is about 15 inches. Uh, however, my neck size itself is 16 and a half inches. So I guess I have just a thick neck. However, making sure you have the right size to start off uh, before you start tying a bow tie is super important. So uh, the first step, once you've decided hey, what kind of bow tie you have, and then if you get the right size, is you want to, uh, what I like to do, this is kind of just optional, this is what I always do. So you get the bow tie leg, like flat like this, make sure it's at the same level, and kind of just like grab it right here, make sure it's all flat, just mess it up a little, and do like a little, do a little this number, kind of flattens out the bow tie, gives you a strong base in order to build the, uh, the actual tie on itself. Um, so after that, you're gonna want to uh, make a cross, so take the, this would be my right, so take this part, like this tail, it's called tails, take this tail and put it underneath this tail, like this, making that motion, and then take it, just like you're tying a normal tie, flip it over, make a knot, and pull both sides of down, like that. This, should, this one, if you do it right, should hang a little bit lower than this one. All right, then the next step is you're going to want to, uh, to make the actual, the beginnings of your bow tie. So once you have this, like, uh, what's that called? Once you have this knot in place. So next you want to uh, take the bow tie and kind of fold it in order to make this shape. And, but, but when you do this, make sure you're very careful. So you can see this is where the skinny part is as it goes off into like the actual big part of the bow tie. So take it and kind of fold it right where the skinny part begins to turn into the actual bow tie and put it up here. So this is going to be effectively half your bow tie. So you're almost halfway done. Right, just like that. And then when you're doing this, make sure you give it strong foundation. Make sure you keep the crease of where the skinny goes to the fat part of the bow tie, effectively the same. After that, what I like to do, I'm kind of just gonna use my several different kinds of hands. Kind of do it whatever way you can actually do it. After that, uh, take it, take the actual, take the other part of the, the other tail of the bow tie, and dangle it across the center, just like this. Make sure it's nice and tight, pull it down a little. And then once you do this, you're actually gonna make a little like hole. I'm trying to see. I give you guys like a really good angle, but effectively with your thumb, you've not created a hole. It's like where your uh, thumb is, look inside of it. I don't know if I can be able to get, there you go, you can see it right there. So that's the hole, right? This is very important, very important, it's this hole. So make sure you maintain the hole, because without this hole, it's gonna be really hard to make the rest of the bow tie. Next is the, by far the hardest step. So I like to switch hands again. I'm kind of a big hand switcher, but you don't really have to do that much. So I'm using this, my, my right thumb to maintain the hole and you take the other tail of the bow tie and fold it in half like this, and then making another little, you can tell, like, very obvious, you can, you're can you making another little fold in it, and you take the fold and you stick it through the other side of the bow tie, where like the other hole is, effectively, making the bow tie shape. So when you do this, you just stick it right through the hole that your right thumb, or my right thumb, has created. It can either be, I guess, your left thumb if you want to. And then kind of, while maintaining the, uh, the fold, make sure, making sure the fold is maintained, kind of pull it through, like that. Uh, at this point, I just kind of like mess with it, pull it through like this, pull it through, and kind of just, I don't know, I don't really look at it at all, kind of just kind of feel it out, and then effectively, this is your bow tie shirt, and there you go, that's how you tie, effectively how you tie a bow tie. After that, I just kind of like to look at it, I'm actually going to use the mirror up here, it's a whole lot easier for me than using a phone screen, kind of just like mess with it a little, and then kind of just make sure you get it right. So keeping the, uh, the middle part of the bow tie right in the middle of the dress shirt and just kind of pulling, 
pulling, making sure your bow tie looks absolutely perfect. So I'd recommend doing it right on the dress shirt also. Make sure you have your dress shirt on. And after that, you kind of just like pull down the collar itself. Um, this is the one of the ones you button, but I don't really want to button it. Anyway, and then just like that, a perfect bow tie every time. If you don't like the, it's a little bit bigger on the side, so you, obviously you can match the fit to each of your liking. Uh, but anyway, I hope everyone's having a great break, and that's how you tie a bow tie. So uh, go dogs, and I miss all of y'all a ton. So stay safe throughout the holiday. Bye, y'all.